During the plenary debates of the House of Representatives on the 2024 budget proposal of the Office of the President or OP, Albay 1st District Representative Edsel Lagman asked for a copy of the original request of the Office of the Vice President for its 2022 confidential funds. The copy of the letter addressed to the Department of Budget and Management on August 22, 2022 was given to the House of Representatives. It was revealed that the OVP originally requested an amount of 250 million pesos in confidential funds. However, only 125 million pesos was approved by President Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos Jr. According to OP budget sponsor Anti-Crime and Terrorism Community Involvement and Support or Axis Party List Representative Erwin Tulfo. There was uh, indeed a uh, request, uh, but the request was 250 million pesos, uh, Mr. Speaker. And uh, how much was approved? Only 125 million was granted, uh, Mr. Speaker, and this was covered by uh, rules or regulations uh, uh, covered by uh, the release of the Office of the President this budget, Mr. Speaker. Representative Lagman insisted the release of the confidential funds to the OVP from PBBM's contingent funds is unconstitutional. There was zero appropriation on the confidential funds of OVP in 2022. However, Representative Tulfo maintained the legality of the release of the funds to the OVP. He added it was from the contingent fund of the OP and a special purpose fund for the new projects and activities. It is unconstitutional for any transfer by one office to another like the transfer of funds from the office of the president to the office of the vice president. There is nothing to be augmented because the OBP has a zero appropriation for confidential funds in 2022. Zero appropriation cannot be augmented. The 2024 proposed budget of the OP has already hurdled the House plenary deliberation. Meanwhile, the sponsorship as well as the interpolation period for the 2024 proposed budget of the OVP and the Department of Education have been rescheduled tomorrow. It was supposedly scheduled for today, September 26, but has been cancelled due to a possible conflict of schedule, according to House Deputy Majority Leader and Appropriations Committee Vice Chairperson in Ilo 1st District Representative Janet Garin. Makabayan Black lawmaker Kabataan Party List Representative Raul Manuel criticized the abrupt rescheduling. Rosa Nicoz, UNTV News and Rescue. We serve the people, we give glory to God.